Hi friends, my name is teacher Erica and welcome to reading extension for session 15 and for today what we're going to do for today's activity is we are going to first go through all the vocab words that we learned today in reading and then I'm going to show you guys the activity we're going to do for reading extension that has to do with these vocab cards. So let's go through the vocab words. So the first vocab word we learned or that we have is collect. So it says collect. And we have a little girl and she has a bunch of eggs in her basket. They look like Easter eggs. And so my friends, when you collect something, it means to grab a bunch of objects and then to assort them in a certain way or to just collect the, or to just gather them and put them in a basket like this little girl did and like Ernst and Sol did with their pails. The second word we have is annoyed. So can my friends see, it says annoyed. And this little boy on the front, doesn't look super happy, right, my friends? So he's annoyed. And when we're annoyed, that means we're slightly upset about something. It's not, it doesn't make you super upset to the point where you're angry, but it does make you upset enough to be just a little upset about it. You know, it's something that you don't want to happen or something that you don't really like. So an example of annoyed is when, my friends, have you ever been out running around or playing tag with your other friends? And then all of a sudden, your sock slips underneath your foot inside of your shoe and now it's not on your foot properly and so now you have to stop you have to take off your shoe and you have to fix your sock that's something that's kind of annoying it's it's something that's mildly upsetting so that's the second vocab word the third vocab word we have is striped so striped is a type of pattern my friends and my friends remember what a pattern is it's a kind of repeating shapes or objects on something or somewhere so the pattern on this animal, which is a zebra, is stripes. So that's what striped means, the type of pattern. And also this rainbow is striped as well. It's just that the stripes go in a curve instead of straight up and down like on the zebra. The next word we have is diamonds. So this says diamonds. And this is another type of pattern because my friends can see that they're alternating colors and that there's different types of diamonds. So we have the line diamonds and we have the block diamonds. And so a diamond is a shape with four sides. It's very similar to a rectangle or a square. The only difference is that it's more slanted. And my friends know what a parallelogram is. This, this is what a diamond is really similar to, but if you don't, that's okay. It's also very similar to a square. So a diamond is a shape with four sides. Our next vocab card is fulfilled. So this says fulfilled. And to be fulfilled means to be really happy or satisfied with something. So this little boy looks super happy, right friends? I would say so too. And he's super happy and fulfilled because he got the lollipop. And what probably makes him feel satisfied with this is maybe he waited a long time to eat this lollipop or it was a reward because maybe he had a good day at school. Something like that. Those are things that can make you feel fulfilled. The next vocab word we have is ordinary. So all my friends can see it says ordinary right here. And what is this picture of? That's right, my friends, it's an ice cream cone. And I mean, I love ice cream, right? Do my friends, do you guys like ice cream? Probably, huh? So you're probably thinking, well, what's so ordinary about ice cream? Because ordinary means plain or boring. And while ice cream isn't really plain or boring, it depends on the flavor, doesn't it? So that's why this picture is here, because this is vanilla. And vanilla is, you could say the plainest ice cream flavor of most of the ice cream flavors, especially because you can use vanilla as a base for a bunch of other flavors if you just add different flavors to vanilla. So that's why this is there, because ordinary means plain, or boring or simple, however you want to phrase it. And vanilla is the most plain ice cream flavor. So vanilla is ordinary. All right, my friends, now that we went over the vocab words that from today's story, we're going to go over the reading extension activity. So my friends remember Ernst and Soul had pails. That's right, my friends. They had pails to put all their collections in and all the things that they were collecting. So today we're going to get a pail you can use a bucket, you can use a bowl. You honestly don't even need a bucket. If you can hold everything you're gonna find in your hands, that's totally okay as well. But if you did wanna use a bucket, you could just get one of these, a pail, this is mine. And then you're going to go around your house or you could go outside if you would like, if you have things outside that match. And you're gonna find objects that match 
all the vocab words we went over today in both reading and just now before this explanation of the activity. So, what I'm going to do, friends, is I'm going to go actually go collect some things myself that match with the vocab words. And so what I mean by this is you're going to go find something that's ordinary, something that makes you feel fulfilled, something that makes you feel annoyed, things like that. And I'm going to put all the vocab cards right here on the screen and you guys can pause and you can look at the vocab words so that way you can remember which kind of objects to grab. You can also rewind the video, my friends, and go back to the explanations in case you need to hear what a vocab word means so that way you can find the object you are looking for. All right, my friends, does that make sense? Yeah, awesome. Okay, my friends, so I'm gonna go collect some things too, and I'm gonna put the pictures on the screen, and then we'll come back and we can talk about the kind of things that we collected. All right, let's go, friends. Welcome back friends. So I hope you guys had fun collecting your things for your little pails. So the, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go over the kind of things that I collected for each vocab word. And then I'm gonna put a picture of the vocab word somewhere around here, um, just to kind of show you guys how they match up. So the first thing I have is a book right here. And this is gonna go with the vocab word collect. So I'm gonna scoot over and put the picture right here, the vocab word. And why I chose this one is because on the inside, I'm gonna hold it like this. My friends can see that I have a collection of leaves and flowers and things like that. So pretty much things that you can find in nature. So this is my little collection, um, but I collect things to put in it. So that's why I chose this for the vocab word collect. The next vocab word or the next object that I found goes with the vocab word diamond. And for this vocab word and object that I found, I'm gonna put a picture of the object right here and I'm gonna put the vocab card right here because the object is very small, it's hard to see, but I did pick a diamond earring. And now it's not exactly the same shape as the diamond shape on this card right here, um, but it is a diamond and it's a type of diamond shape. So diamond does not only mean the shape like we learned about today, it can also mean the material like for an earring like I found. So the next object I have goes with the vocab card ordinary and I picked a napkin because it's just, it's a plain white napkin. It's, there's nothing to it friends, it's just a plain napkin and it's boring and simple. So that's why I chose this for ordinary. The next thing I have goes with the vocab word Striped, good job friends. So you can see it has stripes on here. This is just a little notepad. And this is what I chose for striped because it has a striped pattern on it. The next thing I have goes with the vocab card fulfilled. And what I have is two little squares of yarn right here, friends. And you're probably wondering, well teacher, what does that have to do with being fulfilled? Well, we, want, we talked about how being fulfilled make, means that you are happy or satisfied with something. And I am really happy when I am knitting. So these are little squares of yarn that I knitted. They're part of a bigger project. And once I finish that bigger project, I'm going to be very fulfilled and happy. So that's why I chose these for that vocab word. And the last thing we have is annoyed. So my friends, this is what I have for annoyed is my water bottle. Um, there's a couple things. First of all, my friends, see all the stickers that I have on it? Something that makes me annoyed is when my stickers start to come off like this because maybe I spilled water on them or maybe they got caught on something and they got ripped off. So that's something that makes me feel annoyed is when my stickers start to peel. And another thing that makes me feel annoyed about my water bottle is when it's empty, like it is right now because it's a lot of work to fill it up and it just bothers me, right my friends? So annoyed again means to be mildly upset by something. It doesn't make me angry that my stickers are peeling off nor does it make me angry that my water bottle is empty. It's just something that I wish didn't happen, and so it makes me a little bit annoyed. All right, my friends, I hope you guys had fun collecting things and being gatherers and collectors, just like Sol and Ernst did in the book we read today. And I hope you guys got to learn more about the vocab words. And I hope you guys also enjoy the next video, which is let's find out about it. First implementation. Bye, friends.